Hello and welcome to our discussion on financial statements. In this session we will try to understand the accounting for leases and also observe how some companies show the lease on their financial statements. The accounting for lease is a part of the acquisition of property plan and equipments. When you want to acquire a plant, you can acquire it by buying the asset using existing cash. In that cash, the cash will reduce and plant will appear on the financial statement. If you buy the plant on credit, there is a supplier's liability appears on the balance sheet and a corresponding asset will appear on the asset side. Same is the case with the taking a loan. And if you buy an asset by issuing shares, the asset will increase on the asset side and a corresponding increase on the, on the sources side as a equity increase through capital and share premium if any. So in case of buying an asset, the accounting treatment is, uh, is very direct. It results in acquisition of an asset and a corresponding source or a corresponding reduction in the cash flows, cash on hand. But if you don't buy an asset, but it's a lease an asset, leasing is in principle getting the right to use the asset. In case of buying, you also get the right to use and the right to sell. But in case of leasing, prima facie, you are actually getting the right to use the asset. So the accounting treatment of the lease depends on the purpose and the types of the leases. And broadly speak, a lease are classified into two broad categories, operating leases and they are also finance which are also called capital lease. So the accounting treatment of finance lease and accounting treatment of the operating lease is being explained in the relevant accounting standard. The accounting standard says the classification of accounting standard IS 17 says the classification of lease is based on the extent to which the risk and rewards are transferred by the lesser to the lessee. So a lease is classified as a finance lease if it transfers all the risks and reward to the lessee. To make it simple, you can also say that if the lease period account for significant part of the total life of the asset. In that case, the asset, the lease can be called as a finance lease or capital lease. And a lease, if it is not finance lease, then it will be called an operating lease. So that means the onus is on us to first find out whether the lease is transferring the significant risk or not. If significant risk is transferred, it is a finance lease. If not transferred, then it is an operating lease. So the first step for accounting for lease is to decide about the type of lease, whether it is a finance lease or operating lease. If it is an operating lease, then accounting all the lease payments under the operating lease shall be recognized as an expense on a straight line basis. That means the money paid by the lessee to the lesser will be just treated like any other operating expense and shown in the income statement with a corresponding reduction in the cash flow. But if it is, n it is a finance lease, then the, at the beginning of the lease, the lessee is to, has required to show or recognize the assets on the balance sheet 
and create a corresponding liability on the balance sheet. So even if ownership is not there, finance lease makes the asset to appear on the balance sheet as a leased asset with a corresponding liability called lease table. But the issue is what is the value of this leased asset? The leased asset is calculated, the value of the leased asset is calculated as the present value is calculated as the present value of the lease rentals is calculated as a present value of the lease rentals. So if an asset is taken on finance lease, it is necessary to bring the value of the asset into the books of account and the value of the asset is a present value of the lease rental people and to find the lease rent the present value you need a discount rate and the discount rate is uh, the the implicit interest rate in the so interest rate is taken as the discount rate the discount rate is used in calculating the uh, PV is the interest rate in the lease so therefore the incremental rate of interest the company's incremental rate of interest will be taken as the discount rate so the accounting standard says therefore to summarize that it is necessary to classify the uh, lease into operating and finance but let us see whether that's actually happening in the real life or not the Singapore Airlines also says very clearly that the lease that they have are classified into finance leases and operating lease and the finance lease are capitalized at the fair value of the leased assets which is to say that they are finding the fair value by using some discount rate and um, and all the operating leases the leases are all operating leases are recognized as an expense so therefore the Singapore Airlines more or less uses the accounting standard in case of India Jet Airways the Jet Airways says the assets taken on a lease are broadly classified into operating lease and finance lease the rentals are shown as an expense and the finance lease the fair value of the asset showing representing the present value of the lease rental is capitalized as a fixed asset and the accounting standard says that uh, any amount which calculates uh, this minimum lease rental if it is a finance lease has to be segregated into finance charge which is that means interest and the balance is to be seen as a reduction in the liability and at the same time the finance lease will also result in a depreciation and the depreciation is calculated as per the relevant accounting standard so one is at the time of the initial recognition I treat the finance lease as an asset and I create a corresponding liability and during the life of the asset the lease payable is classified into interest and the reduction in the liability and the corresponding depreciation as per the depreciation accounting standards have to be created so to go back to this so in case of Singapore Airlines we can see that in the expenditure the rentals on the lease aircraft is around 553 million sing dollars 
but this is on the operating lease for finance lease that will be there in the in the finance cost in the interest cost and the finance charges or in the depreciation in case of Qantas also which is an Australian Airways there is an operating lease which shows 521 Australian dollars and a um, million dollars and the for non-operating that is finance lease that will be there in their finance cost so the lease expense which you see on the income statement is uh, relates to the operating lease and for for finance lease you see that cost is embedded in the finance charge or interest so therefore the accounting for lease depends on the purpose intention and the nature of the lease contracts and for accounting purpose the lease contracts are divided into classified into operating and finance lease and accounting standard defines the finance lease if it is not a finance lease and it will be called an operating lease we'll take an example to classify to segregate the finance to understand the finance lease in detail in our next presentation thank you very